so hello guys in this video i am going to show you how you can download and install docker on your windows 11 operating system so let's get started so first let's see the system requirements for installation of docker so here are some system requirements that are required for docker uh, so here are two options wsl2 backend and Hyper-V backend. So what we need is a WSL version 1.1.30, and we need Windows 11 64-bit, or we can also use Windows 10 64-bit. And then we have to turn on the WSL2 feature on Windows. So WSL2 stands for Windows Subsystem for Linux. It is a compatibility layer for running the Linux kernel directly within Windows 10 or Windows 11. This feature allows you to run a full-fledged Linux distribution along your Windows operating system without the need of virtualization or dual booting. So let's turn on this feature. Simply go on search and here search for Windows features. Windows features. And here you have to turn on two features. Uh, first one is Windows hypervisor platform and the second one is Windows subsystem for Linux turn these both features on and after that click on ok after turning on these two features uh, you have to reboot your system once reboot your system and after that you can verify the installation of WSL2 on your system how you can verify uh, simply go to command prompt and here type First uh, command WSL version. Now here all the information about WSL is available here. Now you can also check it by using WSL and type enter. Now you can use Linux commands on your this window system. Now let's try ls. Now here are all the uh, directories in my system and now let's try some more commands uh, PIR. now we can also use touch command to create any new file file dot txt and list here is our file is created and we can also use the vi editor for editing this file here we can write anything we want and save it uh, we can also check the content of this file Now here is the content so uh, simply exit from this WSL command line now you will come back to the default command line interface so in this way you can verify that WSL is installed successfully on your system so uh, the next thing you have to do is simply uh, download the docker desktop for windows here by clicking here uh, click here to download the file uh, I have already this file so after downloading this file you have to visit this website dockerhub.com here you have to create a new account simply uh, click here on sign up and create here a new account fill some basic details and uh, create a new account and after creating new account uh, simply go to your file here install it i have already this file so it is updating this file
now our docker is installed successfully now simply click on close it will open automatically now after opening you have to uh, sign in to your account uh, simply click here to sign in and uh, log in to your account now before it is showing not connected to hub now after you successfully signed in it will show here connected to hub see here it is now showing connected to hub now docker desktop is installed successfully now let's verify uh, this by command line uh, go to cmd and uh, simply here type docker version now here it is showing the docker version we have installed now you can uh, try some docker commands like docker images here are the images present in my repo so here it is the GUI based interface of the docker from here you can see your containers and you can also see your images you can search for images like uh, Apache here all the images you can pull any of the image and you can run it on the containers you can also create any volume from here here are also some tutorials like what is container how do I run container here are the guides you can uh, also see these guides and you can also pull any image from here also like pull yeah. and our image is now uh, available here httpd and we can also see this image by our command line interface here the command for the images is docker images see here our httpd image is available and we can also see the containers uh, list of containers with ps command and uh, this command shows the running containers and we can use uh, docker ps minus a with it to see all the available containers which are not running so these two containers are available right now and you can also search images from here like docker search and you can search here for nginx and here are all the images available here uh, you can use these images so in this way you can download or install docker in your system uh, i hope you have enjoyed this video and if there is any issue or error comes while installing docker on your system please tell me in the comment section and that's it i will see you in next video